on occasion, you might have some customers or, or users ask if they can make um, the ability to track changes for a particular record in the application itself, right? So I'm sure everyone's aware of the ability to look at your um, audit history, which AppSheet by default will track every transaction that occurs in the app. However, this use case focuses specifically on the app users themselves, which would not have access to that audit log. And perhaps there's some other functionality. Uh, maybe you have admin role users that have been built into the app and they want the ability to visually see changes that occur for a particular record, like, like what's being shown here. So I have a very simple record that's being displayed here with some fields. And then down below, there are there's essentially a history log of all the changes that have occurred and when they've occurred and who they were accomplished by, along with the summary of those changes of what the date, you know, for example, in this first item, what the date changed from, you know, before and after states. So uh, this could provide some additional um, useful context for, uh, you know, app developers to add, you know, add this functionality into the app itself. So, um, and then I can just demo, you know, basically what, what happens here is any changes that happen to the app. So I'm just going to change the date here. Any changes that have happened, as soon as the change is synced back to the server, then um, you'll see that a new line item is added um, down below to the history. So you can see right now there's another one that popped in here and it could, it shows that I've changed the date to the 17th and I've changed the type from option B to option A. All right, so how do you set this up? The first step is to, let's shrink that down. The first step is to um, make sure you add, you're gonna have to add a log table, right? So this table itself is going to essentially record all the changes that occur uh, from your main table. So in this sample app or this template app, I'll make sure I share the link. Um, I just have my main table, right, that I would want to conduct logging for. And then I have my log table where that data is going to be stored directly. And it's important your log table mirrors your main table. Um, including the, the ID, right? So that AppSheet knows how to relate the log back to the, the main table. And in addition to um, setting the main ID up as a reference to the main table, so you see here, we set that up as a reference and that's what creates this inline view on the in the app itself with the individual records. In addition to that, we also want to make sure our main table has a couple fields in there. If they're not in there already. Is an updated by field and a last updated field. So there's a field to record who made the change and then what time that change was made, right? And there's just simply app formulas for those fields to automatically compute those values. So once you've set this up and set these two tables up, you're going to create an automation. And this automation is fairly straightforward in that there's very, just two simple parts here. One is the event, and this event, all it is is the, uh, looking for all changes that occur in the app. And then the second part is the is a run a data action uh, step. And that's to add new rows to um, the log table. Right, because we're going to be logging the the changes into that log table, and then we're simply just populating each of the fields that we're adding records to we're with the same field from the main table. We're just simply copying that data as the change is made. The one difference here um, that I added for additional functionality is the summary field. Now you don't have to use this as this is a little bit more involved. But what this does is basically provides that summary view I was showing you in the app where you can show 
how um, the data changes from before and after, right? So all this is doing is some lookups at the point of this act automation that's running. It's doing these lookups and comparing before and after values and essentially creating that summary um, field uh, dynamically as that automation runs. So that's really all you have to do. It's, there's nothing more complex to that, but this can um, provide that additional functionality that some app developers are looking for. So uh, like I said, I'll make sure I sh have this link in the, um, in the notes section so you can you know, view how this works and potentially share it with some customers. Thank you.